Did you kill Jaquetta Thomas? I absolutely did not kill Jaquetta Thomas. And as far as I know, I've never even seen her alive. Greg's night started very innocently, watching a baseball game with a friend. And when the game went into extra innings, it uh, seemed like a good time to, uh, he was already gonna be out late anyway, so he decided to go get some drugs. He got drugs from a supplier, Johnny Beck, that he had gotten drugs from before. They ended up spending the night uh, together until about 3.30 in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning. They ended up in a cul-de-sac in, in downtown Raleigh. Pulled off that cul-de-sac to party in some weeds out of view, and when they came out, they walked past the body of Chiquetta Thomas. Well, the low point was in 1993 when Greg was convicted. Then you, you've gone to the appeals, you've gone to the MAR, you've gone to the habeas corpus, DNA testing, getting denied that. Each time you're turned down, it's a low point. One's not lower than the other. It's hard to go down and, and face your son and tell him, we just can't do anymore, son. That we've done all we can do. We have to hope that something else turns up. I've always contended that we, we had and still have the, uh, the best uh, criminal justice system in the world. Apparently, uh, we can make mistakes, so we're not perfect. It seemed to me incumbent uh, that we try to improve that very good system. What you want to know is um, he has confessed in detail to killing the victim. What? Are you serious? Thank God. It was a hard case because we believed that Greg was innocent. Because the stakes were so high for Taylor and his family, the tension that it created in the courtroom was pretty intense. Greg's family you know, bristled and, and, and felt hurt and offended and angry at every jab that, that, that came and was a lot to bear. Basically, the whole prosecution's case at the, at the original trial was, you know he was there because this blood was on his truck. But that blood had to be defeated because it was enough for one of the judges to say, well, I just can't say without, with absolute certainty. So it had to be defeated. But the way it was defeated overwhelmed everything else. I knew that day that this was going to change things in North Carolina forever. 